What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this. T, we're about to get into Tay's side of the... St- I got to stop doing that. We're about to get into Lou side of the story um, on her situation with Tay, okay? And um, apparently she has something she exposed in here. Yeah. Ch- Yeah, starting my TikTok. What up, TikTok? So this is a video of um, Lou telling her side to what happened with her and Tay, and I don't know what else, to be honest. <laughs> Let's just get into it. Around 3 o'clock, I received an email from someone... Oh, yeah, the cease and desist. Taylor's legal representation. I'm going to more than likely put the... It's posting the cease and desist for me. <laughs> on this email, there were about three demands that were given to me. The first demand was that I cease and desist from referencing Tay in any future or current social media post. The second is that I remove all posts that reference her currently, that I admit in writing that I have no claims to any proceeds from our Tay and Lou channel. Given how hastily she took down our YouTube channel, I'm not surprised by this at all. I 110% do believe she is doing this because she wants to stop me from speaking about my experience with her on this channel or any channel. I believe I received this email because she thinks that this will intimidate me to silence myself and I will no longer be silent when it comes to Taylene Page, aka Brooklyn Breed. This correspondence is not going to silence me. I want to share what I've been through with this person. I'm going to share every incident, every trauma. And I will not. Lou said, run it. Girl, I ain't scared of your look. Cease and decease. <laughs> if you know, you know. I ain't scared of your look. Cease and decease, girl. Let her further <laughs> continue to try to intimidate me and silence me. Yeah. It stops here. I am not violating <laughs> any type of law by speaking about specific and true events that happened to me during the duration of my relationship with Tay. It is not illegal for me to also defend myself from her defamation of my character and of my life. The correspondent states and alleges that I have been harassing her. This is completely false. I have not spoken to Taylene in about a year. I have not tried to contact Taylene in about a year. Tay claiming that she's threatened or feels afraid to contact me or that we have any type of mutual friends that we could have contacted is completely false. We have none of that. Out of response for my video that I posted, <clears throat> telling her to remove our YouTube channel, rightfully so, she then got into the internet yet again and put herself in the position of a victim. I was about to say, play victim. Girl, Tay was on <laughs> I don't want to be... <laughs> Manipulates and she cries in order to garner. Sympathy. Oh my god, There's nothing that she's saying is the truth. Oh, it was hilarious. She got on there and said that I threatened her, which I have not done. And she got on there and said that she's afraid to contact me. <laughs> this is a woman who is not afraid of me physically or emotionally. The videos that you guys have seen of me being irate, me being angry, me phys- being physical with Tay are all reactionary videos. Oh. You guys have never seen a video of Tay Lane intoxicated because I was not grabbing my phone to record her. Didn't have a phone to grab because she took it. She may have ample amount of videos like that. However, I have a video that I'm about to show you guys and I will explain what you hear. And even though to some of you it may not amount to much, to those who have enough brain to dissect what it is. Three, three, three in the jet. Open your eyes. This woman to me was my abuser. And there's no other way of putting it. Time and time again, she's hopped on this internet and spoken about me. In my experience, she was a master of manipulating me, a master of abusing me mentally, financially, and physically. And because I did not have the tools to record her, and because she ran to the internet with this first, because I am not the first one to come to the internet with 
this horrible with this horrible stuff because she showed you guys that stuff first there is now a story on the internet of me being an alcoholic abuser and I want to go ahead and play this video yet again it may not amount to much to some of you but this is one peak because I was able to salvage this one video after asking family members this this that that you guys because I was secretly emailing my family members random videos because she would take my phone and if she goes through it and she sees a video of her acting crazy she would delete it so I just so happen to have a few videos and this one right here I want you guys to just take a moment and listen and we can speak about it and today you are stalking me look at me you're stalking me at this point at this point bro Can I say something? Yes, first of all, of did I text you? you out of my life. Uh -huh. No, you never me. Okay, no problem. But she punched me in my face, and I'm right here. But because I didn't catch my video, look at her face. Look at her face. It doesn't matter. Taylene, you sit up here. You're drunk. Lisa, just calm down. Calm, Taylene. It doesn't matter. Okay, because right now it doesn't matter because we're both. I can so tell like her out that you guys are okay. I said she told me to go but go where I have no money whenever we did anything I was always at risk of being stranded and the risk was real because I've slept outside at least three times in my relationship with her she would do this every time we argue big or small you need to go ahead and drink some water drink some damn water because I have every video on here I have every video on here the video that you guys just saw was on a weekend in Brooklyn in a hotel. We did what we usually do. We checked in, we went to the bar, we had some drinks, had a good time at the pool, had drinks at the pool. We were equally inebriated, equally inebriated. And in that video, what you see is her being so irate and delusional and manipulative. At one point you heard her say, she's a stalker. She's a stalker. She was saying that to her cousin. That wasn't her cousin. That wasn't her cousin present. Someone who told the tr someone who knew the truth. Just imagine usually it wasn't. 99% of the time it was the police. She would call on me and always after having started or provoked the situation. You guys, I was <coughs> in a relationship with her. We checked into the hotel together. How was I stalker? She would get so intoxicated, so belligerent, I would be a stalker, I then was a thief. Out of nowhere, she would pull these crazy accusations out. And for the first time, because she was so inebriated and I actually hid my phone well enough that time, I had my phone long enough because I did not have it all night because she did eventually get it. I had it long enough to record her. I never understand that phone was yet. To my best friend. In the video, like I told you guys, I was, I'm sorry, I'm shaking. In the video, as I said, we were equally inebriated. We had a great time, but. I'm not gonna lie. I would not want to talk about this no more. Like I would, like I've gone through my exposer, expose situation as well. And I don't want to talk about, I don't. What happened? Who? Never happened, okay? Nah, don't want to talk about it no more. I was not who I was. She wasn't who she was. And this is the same situation with these two. It's so sad, bro. It's so sad, man. Her cousin came into the room because Taylene was yelling. It just get worse and worse. <clears throat> and on top of that, right before her cousin came into the room, Taylene had just hit me square in my mouth. Mm -mm. I also would like for you guys to note my calmness in the video. Like I said, we both were equally inebriated, but I want you guys to compare the videos y'all have seen of me. I was past my breaking point. I've already been fighting at that point. I already was in a reactionary state when you guys saw me <coughs> and the things that I did. That's the way the fight starts. It's in the video me that I just showed you. speaking the way you guys saw me speak, me trying to rationale with this woman, every time it starts like that, and then something physical happens. Either she will take my phone, pull off my wig, and then there's nothing anyone can tell me to say I can't defend myself. Next, I'd like to speak about pretty much the history and the background of alcoholism in our relationship. 
the nature of our relationship was drinking. When we were happy, we drank. When we went out, we drank. When we were just in the house, we drank. If we weren't doing nothing, we drank. Oh, no. But the <laughs> hey, key point not. about all of this drinking that transpired in our relationship with each other, all substances that were brought <laughs> into my life while I was with Tay, into that house when I was with Tay, all was brought and given to me by Tay. Every time I had a drink, and became whatever it is she's told y'all that I was. She gave me that drink repetitively. Drink after drink after drink. The next day we'll do it. The next day we do it. We drank pretty much every day. That's what we did. And if her truth is her truth or any truth, I find it really hard to believe. And I think that you guys would find it hard to believe that if you were being abused by someone and you were so fearful, so afraid to reach out to me, so afraid of me, you will not repetitively give me the environment and give me to the, the liquor to indulge. It's, it's giving y'all had to drink liquor to deal with each other is what it's giving me. Like it was a certain amount of numbness just there. You know what I'm saying? You created these environments. You bought every bottle. I had no money to buy anything. Once again, there's no way that if this woman was fearful of me because of my alcohol consumption, that she would supply me alcohol every day. You guys saw it in the videos. Later on, you guys saw it in the streams. She literally will physically hand me my drink. Every substance, every form of alcohol that came into the house, came into the house through Taylor. Now, I met Tay when I was, what, 25? When I met her, as far as my relationship with alcohol is concerned, she was completely privy to. When I met her, I was an atmosphere model currently. Keyword currently. I was a sign published and booked high fashion model. Before I met her, she told y'all, I was a scammer, broke, jobless, and homeless, all lies. I didn't and still don't have to lead with my accolades to have people like me. It's just time y'all are made aware that I was definitely making it on my own. Period. And was, though. <laughs> and was. Okay. She has that body shape to um, be a model for sure. They love a woman that's... No, ma'am. Not no music, though. <laughs> we not doing that. You better walk, bitch. Oh, and she was on the TV show? Not you put the TV show on him. I mean, it is you in it, but hopefully they ain't copyright you. To go to clubs, to drink, well, the appearance of drinking, drink whatever it is that you prefer to do. And that's what I used to get paid to do. So alcohol has always been in my life. Even before then, I still like to drink even before that job. My drinking has affected me as far as what I want for myself. Right. My drinking has never put Tay in harm. As soon as I drink, I do not flip a switch and become an abusive person. And this is everything she tried to, I guess, convince you guys that I was, which is the furthest thing from the truth. And the reason why we know that's the furthest thing from the truth is because she continuously drank with me. I understand why so many people have put themselves in a position, not against me, but thinking that I'm a bad person thinking that I'm an abuser and alcoholic. I did not know, because I'm learning. I did not know how to respond to something and not make myself look like a victim, even though I am. That's not a title that I've ever... I wouldn't... It's not even trying to make yourself look like a victim. <clears throat> if you are the victim, you are the victim. I don't have to make myself look like that in order for anybody to know I am a victim. And, you know, your pride got in your way a lot with this one, Lou. Because you were supposed to been addressed this. You were supposed to have been said, yo, let me get y'all straight on what this really is. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like she played herself. For real. I feel like she really played herself. Sometimes patience is okay, but not always. Just not always, man. Patience is definitely a virtue. 
But sometimes you got to be a little more, you know, I don't know, man. You got to beat your opposer, bro. It's just like a race. What y'all got going on is a race because Tay always come out quick. And maybe that's just not the way she think. I understand she was in the depression and things like that. But, man, I see why everybody feel the way they feel. Now, I do. I'm not going to lie. I've been comfortable with holding. So when all of this happened to me, and you guys, this is not happening to Tay. This happened to me. When she got <clears throat> to the Internet and she defamed my character, I, I handled it as the only way Lou knew how. I stepped away. I defended myself, which is the videos that y'all saw, and I left it alone. At that point, I'm not going to lie to you guys. There wasn't no leave it alone so I can go heal. I was already healed. We had three months of no contact. And when I say healed, you guys, this was a, a five-year relationship. I was at a good space is what I mean to y'all. There was no sadness about the situation. I still felt a, under all current <clears throat> of unfairness because you get into the internet and say I'm an abuse of this and I'm an abuse of that and all of these things, which you and I both know aren't true. After having gone through that and handled it maturely, because none of this had to be on the internet, especially seeing as though it's a lie. If this was Tay's truth, I would stand by it and I would take accountability and I would let her get her due. However, none of that is correct and none of that is true. I was uncomfortable. I'm no longer uncomfortable. I was completely uncomfortable, even though I was wronged and victimized and abused throughout this entire relationship. I was uncomfortable with showing you guys that that's where I was. I was uncomfortable with showing you guys that I am a victim. Not was, I am still currently a victim of Taylene. What the hell she's is my currently phone still at? trying to silence me. See, she's currently still trying to control me and manipulate me. There's no reason why she can go into this internet and say, why does my healing has to start with her hurt when she showed the way? And I'm not even trying to hurt this woman. I have not gotten into this internet and asked for any money. The video that I did, I requested no money. I don't want my cut and what's due to me, even though I'm due so much. I don't want that. I wanted my art, my likeness off of the internet controlled by Tay. She's controlled so much of my life for so many years and I'm done with it. I'm done. <clears throat> the reason why I feel like my words should resonate quite heavily with you guys because I've shown you guys consecutive, consecutively who I am. I came to Taylene with family, connections, and community. I left with her, left from her with nothing, no family, no community, because this is the life that she has. She want, wanted me to have no family. She wanted me to have no community. I have fostered such meaningful Jesus Christ over these last years that you guys have seen me, and I still continue to do so. Meaningful, long-lasting relationships. And as this continues to go on, you guys will see that that is not present. On She's cycling new people into her life, a new best friend. I may not be a lot of things. I know I have my vices, things that I'm currently working on. But one thing I've always been on the internet and off the internet is accountable. I've gotten onto this internet and told you guys my truth from the moment this has happened. I have not been honest with you guys over the life of Tane Lou because yet again, who wants to come in here and say, hey, I'm being abused. You guys loved that channel. You guys loved that brand. Nah. I, 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 the, the way you was being abused and treated, I would have had to say something, especially when she came out with her, like you would say, smear campaign. Baby, I would have took everything I had <laughs> to let everybody know, nah, this this both of us. And I felt an obligation to uphold those lies. We both and abusive. Like How about that? Accountability <laughs> has never been an issue for me. That's the case. Lie after lie <clears throat> about me has been told to you guys. Oh, my God. For quite, quite a while now, I think it's been about nine months that you guys have had to sit with these lies. But within those nine months, you guys, I have been thinking, and I can't call it brewing, but I realized I had to say something because it is not just me who have experienced such horrific behavior from this person. I've witnessed multiple of people go through similar things that she put me through. I don't think anyone has ever dealt yes, with the level of abuse that I dealt from with her, but I've witnessed her manipulate and lie and hurt people here on TikTok, here on YouTube, and in her personal life, even down to her own family members and best friends. Oh, shit. 
I am accountable for lying to you guys over all of those years and putting up a facade as if what wasn't going on in the back was completely toxic and unacceptable. I hold myself accountable by knowing in my head that alcohol in our relationship would eventually lead to a fight. I tried to give us grace because it made us happy. Um, it made us, you know, motivated to do videos and everything like that. So I always lie to myself and say, this time, this won't happen. And every time it did. So I take accountability for knowing the effects of alcohol and how I continue to use alcohol in the relationship with Tay. I'm 110% accountable for every scratch or any bodily ailment she may have incurred while I had to defend myself against her. I am 110% accountable for every scratch she showed you guys, for any bodily ailment she may have suffered from our physical altercations, but I need you guys to, guys to make me not one mistake. I was defending myself. I was not initially aggressing her. I was not creating a situation to, to aggress her. I never initially just hit her or punched her in her face. She always physically aggressed me first. Not with words, physically. And that's when everything <coughs> will then go downhill. I take accountability for the scratches, but I am not sorry. I I'm wouldn't not be. sorry for defending myself. And you shouldn't be. Hell, you lucky. I, she lucky you didn't do worse. Not just punch me dead in my mouth. Like, you know, we women, we've been into altercations with other women, especially women that we dating. We have our, you know, lesbians have our issues. But to just haul ass and mong you right in the face? Nah. <laughs> nah, that's just crazy. That's crazy. Hell no. That's a different type of anger. I find it should be very easy for you guys to sniff out all of her deception because Taylene has not been accountable for not one thing that has transpired. And anyone who can... I agree 100% on that. I agree 100% on that. Like, why do you have to monetize or get your pain out? Through my pain. <laughs> but she said it. Girl, I was like, Tay, Tay. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It was hilarious to me because she never once said anything that she has done out of this whole situation. She hasn't. Or she just like, I mean, I may have been a little aggressive or whatever, but you didn't have the right, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, come on. Not sit down and see their role in a situation as horrific as this. You cannot trust someone who has no accountability. No. I could never trust her. No. Nope. And now it's all up to you guys whether or not you want to trust her words. <sighs> I want to make it very clear that I am in no way a woman scorned. In no way am I bitter. I've gotten onto this internet plenty of times. Now there's plenty of clips of me saying that I wished her the best, that I wish nothing but good things for her. There's no room in me because of my healing journey to wish any type of bad on anybody. I don't treat people that I love because you guys, this is real life here. I was with her for five years. I love Tay. I don't treat people that I love like that. So I know a lot of the comments are saying, move on, do this, do that. You're just giving bitter. <clears throat> No, I'm given, I'm ready to stand up for myself and pick up the pieces of my life and move on finally. And there's not one person on this stream, wherever you're watching it on this YouTube, if you were in my position of abuse and neglect for all of those years, that once you actually have your community and your family back and they've warded you for all of these months, damn near going on a year now, that you're not going to want get to get what's owed to you. And what's owed to me is for you guys to know who I am and the truth. Money is not owed to me. I work my... No, 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 no. Money is owed to you. I, I don't understand that. Money is absolutely owed to you. Hell, I would have probably took ass to court told to keep them videos up. Because that was your proof of your work. But this pride thing you got going on is not helping your situation. Money is owed to you. And to keep saying that it ain't, 
ain't it. Everybody needs money. You needed money then, and you need money now. Not saying you're struggling. I'm saying we all need money. That's all I'm saying. We all need money. And you need money. You needed money. There's no reason for you to keep saying, I don't need or want money. Yes, you do. We're not working for free. You weren't working for free. I wish you would stop saying that and stand on the fact that you deserved your half of the money. And I don't think, you know what? You did not deserve a half. If she edited the videos, if she made the thumbnails, if she came up with the ideas. You said that you had some ideas, but I'm just saying if you didn't. But my nigga, you deserve something. Everybody deserves something. Period. Money's not owed to me. I worked my ass off on that channel. I cooked. I inspired. So money is owed to my you. Part. But what's owed to me <clears throat> is for you guys to know that I am not that person that she tried so hard. And honestly, I'll say successfully tried to convince y'all I am. Tay said that, well, she posed a question. Why does my healing... That. Why does my healing have to start with her hurt? Well, I have a question for all of you guys and for Tay, if you're watching this as well. Why did your healing have to start with my defamation and my humiliation? Hello. After three months. Hello. No contact. And after the last text message that you sent me was in great spirits. I'm with, I'm with you when you write. Text. I'm with you when you write. Message. I misspoke once again. It was two months to the date we last spoke, 2 4 2023. She dropped those awful videos you saw um, on 4 4 23. Three months defamation. The text messages before those three months were you begging me to do a video, you begging to do things with me. Text message after text message after text message. So much so that I even have to try to put it into perspective for you, which is not new to me. I asked you for some respect of my time, but because I wasn't replying to you right back, you threw a fit like you usually do. Mm. So that's my question. Your healing started with my humiliation and my defamation. Why? Why was that appropriate? But what I'm doing to pick up the pieces of this storm that you created, I'm bullying. I'm harassing you per the email that was sent to me. I can't let you guys lose perspective of how all this started and the fact that she brought all of this to the internet. I would have never burdened you guys with such horrific details. <laughs> this is my burden to bear. Never in my life would I have brought this to the internet. We had three months of no contact and before those three months started, she was cool with me. She wanted to work with me still. But after I started Just Lou and started doing it on my own, I literally posted two videos on Just Lou. You decide to do a digital drive-by on me, <laughs> on my daughter, on my family, Digital drive-by is crazy. <laughs> on my friends. Because it wasn't just me who was affected by this. But I fell on a digital drive-by. Solely because I was making it without you and you could not control me any longer. And you still can't, and you will not silence me. Period. I'm reclaiming my life. I'm reclaiming my brand. And she is reclaiming her time. I had to. Support me, thank you. If you need some time to think about it, respect. But to those who understand what I'm saying right now at this current moment, I couldn't be more grateful. So but Crystal recently- My bad. You guys see, I present myself on the internet very reserved. <laughs> That's the way I like <clears throat> received on the internet. And that's my right. All of this is out of my nature. And I hope that you guys give me some grace with knowing that about me. But you guys have seen that over the five years on the YouTube, so. Because Taylene's main ammo in this situation were those videos that she showed you guys, the videos that will come after this one will be human accounts that will speak to her character with them, speak to my character, and give you guys an outside voice other than my own. They have taken trips together. They have been in each other's homes. 
These are family members. These are close acquaintances and best friends. And this is what the next few videos will be. Drop the videos. And I feel like it's only right. My thing with Lou is what the hell we be waiting on? What are we waiting on? Drop the tea. Come on. Because at the end of the day, you guys, it's not fair for anyone <clears throat> to tell me I should just leave it alone now that she's taken down Tay and Lou when what's still left is my character in shambles. I'm trying to pick these pieces up so that I can move forward, so that I can restore you guys' faith in who I am. So I have to bring these human accounts on here because I don't have videos. I'm going to let y'all... I want to say this too. On that channel, Lou was Tay, Jesus Christ. Tay was the one who was a little more out there, a little more, you could see her personality way more than Lou. I think people just don't know who Lou is. And I think Lou wants that, that support that they had as a unit. But see, now it's time for you to get that individual support. And I don't think it only has to do with her expose on you. I think that it has to do with who you are as a person. You know what I'm saying? Your personality. I got exposed too, and I was actually the one who was in Tay's shoes as well. But I do see where you're coming from. I'm not biased. But, uh, yeah, a lot of people were pissed off at me, and they did not want to rock with me no more. And I, I was cool with that because of the the role that I played in that situation. I was absolutely cool with that. Um, however, I changed. I changed. Um, I showed people my personality. Um, I showed people. People loved me before all of that anyway. So some people was like, listen, uh, you know, I rock with you. I ain't rocking with this situation at all. But I rock with you. Get yourself together. <laughs> I mean, people were telling me this. Get yourself together. You know what I'm saying? Pay attention to the ones that are supporting you. Pay attention to the ones that are. Hey, hey. Pay attention to the ones that do care about you. And give that energy. Give that attention. And when I did that, everything was okay. Because the thing is, you don't want that Tay and Lou following back. That's not what you want. You want Lou. You want just Lou. Uh, L. Michelle, however you say it, no disrespect. You want those new people to get to know who you are. Forget all the old ones. Forget her numbers. You got 211,000 followers on TikTok. You ain't too far away from her. So you may not be making the money she's making or you may not have her may not be at her numbers yet but you need to work at doing so try different things you know what i'm saying what i will say is tay do different stuff all the time she knows how to keep the people coming whether they like her or not even after this they're still gonna like her not saying you don't want them to i'm just saying so i, I just feel like you need to give yourself some grace a little bit forgive you for whatever and get let some new people get to know who you are you don't want that old following back i got i got brand new followings twice <laughs> okay because my thing was if the people that's here are not gonna rock with me somebody gonna rock with me okay there's too many people in this world to be holding on to the same people you know what I'm saying? Everyone deserves the right to defend themselves after they've been slandered. She right about mind. that too. And just as much as the internet is Taylor's job, the internet is mine as well. And my job has been affected. My income has been affected. It was doing very, very good until she came onto the internet and accused me of being an alcoholic abusive person. Never abused her, intoxicated or not. And I understand that too. You saying I was working on, I, I was getting new people or whatever. And then here you come with, you know what I'm saying? I, I understand. No abuse present on my behalf in that relationship. Just a lot. On tape it's a lot, man. There was physical, mental, financial, and animal abuse. And these human accounts will attest to that. I want to say thank you to everyone who 
took the time to watch this video. Thank you also for the support. I hate that I have to garner sympathy and support in this way, but thank you. Thank you for listening to me. Please subscribe here to my YouTube. The internet there is- There will be more videos. Follow me on TikTok, on all platforms if you care to do so. And once again, thank you so much. I met Taylor when I was 28. What the- I'm scared to contact you about anything. I need you to understand that. As traumatic as the situation that we went through was, you don't think that in the back of my head, everything you do is to hurt me? <laughs> what? Uh, uh. And here go my voice. Y'all saying these are old, but these were my last texts with her. If someone spoke to you like this, text you like this, you would think all is well, especially considering the very last text she sent me. Imagine you're surprised when three months later they reappear out of nowhere and yell abuse and fear. All right, y'all. I'm done with this because Lord knows I don't want to hear myself talk. Um, I just feel like I wish Lou would have came out and said this a long time ago, but I do understand that she did not have the mental capacity to do so. Um, but with that being said, I wish that she would just give her new people energy. I feel that she would give the people who do support her all that energy and build something new, try something new, change what you're doing. It takes a lot to keep people's, um, attention. You know what I'm saying? The attention span these days is slim to nothing. Okay. So. With that being said, you got to try new things. You got to do new things. You, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot that she got to work on. Aside from just proving to people that she's not an abuser. Which I don't think she is. I think that she was um, fighting back more so than anything. Um, I mean, at least from hearing that video. So, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I am done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.